Now we're going to do a completely manual scrolling capture just to see how it's done and how all of the options work. So I'm going to select this rather large directory and we're going to start a scrolling capture. Now I'm just going to test the window settings to see what it recommends. Now you'll notice after I choose this I'm going to move my cursor here to the scroll bar and um, that you can see that little uh, tool tip that occurred up here saying the size of the file that helps um, otherwise Windows uh, Explorer tends to think that um, that you're ask that you're as it's scrolling that you're asking for a tool tip on these files okay so let's try um, let's see it's recommending to scroll by lines 21 lines that's fine now um, let me do a let me, uh, since I noticed that as it was scrolling, the contents were taking a while to refresh, I'm going to increase this to 400 milliseconds per scroll. Most of these other values you can just leave alone. Now, if you're manually aligning, it's usually not necessary to go by single rows. Going by single rows is useful because it can help the program determine the overlap. And in fact, we might try this first like this. Well, let's just let's try this. Let's let's leave it as it as it recommends to go by 21 rows at a time and let's say okay, begin the capturing. So it's going to scroll through the entire contents of the directory, which is quite a lot of pages. And it's done. You can see it's used 30 megabytes to store all this data and let's guess the margins guess the overlaps okay so it's come up with values so it's probably correct let's take a look at it let's go to 100 percent and it's a huge image here but let's just scroll and take a look and see how well it aligned everything up well it seems to have lined everything up quite well in fact and let's uh, save this image and see how big it is it's 13,000 pixels high. That's that's a pretty big, pretty tall image. Let's take a look at it. That's that's pretty huge. Um, and we can see how big it is. 13,000 pixels high. That's fine. Okay, so let's go back. Let's capture it again manually, and let's see what what we would do if we if the automatically guessed options didn't quite work. Let's do a scrolling capture. Um, and uh, let's not test the window. Let's just leave everything as it is. Okay, so now if we were doing this manually, we might change this to 400, give it a little more time to refresh. This time we're going to go by pages and maximum 50 pages. That's fine. Okay, let's let it go and capture by pages. Okay, so it failed to, um, it failed to scroll. Why did it fail to scroll? Let's go back and let's see maybe it wasn't in the window sometimes if you're not if you've got a pro uh, application like Windows Explorer that's got multiple panels if you're not in the window to scroll the messages don't get sent properly so let's try again let's begin scrolling okay looks like it's scrolling now now remember this time I told you to go by pages and when it goes by pages there may not be any overlap to speak of and uh, we're going to find that out quite soon. Okay, so here's its capture. Now we're not going to we're not going to uh, choose any of these. We're going to do this all manually. So I'm going to go to 100%. I'm going to scroll here. I'm going to try to manually set the margins. Now you see this this top thing. That's part of the margin that we don't want to include. So I'm going to increase the margin value until that's gone. Now we have no top border. Now this left border we want to remove. Don't worry, we can bring this back later. And now we're going to scroll down here until we see the border. There's the page border. And you can see there's very little overlap. In fact, that little bottom line is a bottom border of the, of the window that we want to remove. That's the bottom border. So let's increase that till we get rid of it. That's fine. And in fact, we have a right-hand border. Yes, we've got a scroll bar on the right. So I'm going to get rid of that by increasing the right-hand margin. 
Okay, and now what I want to set here is the overlap. So I'm going to change this vertical overlap until we get a perfect lineup. And there we have it. It's right at 6. Now this overlap and these margins will handle everything but the last page. So let's go down and see if we can find the overlap on the last page. And there it is. That's because the last page of scrolling may be a partial page. And so this last page we adjust here. Now the last page you'll notice has a quite a large overlap. You can see there's the last 12, 29, 2008 and that lines up with this one here. So we actually have to set this quite high. We might want to actually do it this way. So we're going to look for the sidewall B1, sidewall B1. So we want to bring this up to here. So I'm just going to increase the vertical overlap on that last page until we get close. Let's just increase it here. And there we go. Now we've got our perfect alignment. Got the overlaps all correctly. So you see we had to set the vertical overlap for most pages to 6 and then the last one. Quite common for the last one to have a much higher overlap. We set the margins manually and we're all done. Now the one thing we might want to bring back is the uh, outside margins which have these headers. We might want to include those in our final screenshot. So let's bring these back in and you'll see that brings our border our borders back and the top headers back and uh, the only weird thing we're going to see is this right hand scroll bar is going to be duplicated quite a few times so let's keep this image and there we have it it's the same basic thing basically the same size and if we go to 100 percent view we can see it's got our entire image and we've done it and the only thing you might want to do is crop off that right hand scroll bar if you were posting that somewhere but it's nice to be able to bring back in the top header and there you have it a completely manual scrolling capture well except for the actual scrolling actions which you can do manually but we've done our alignment and overlaps manually and that gives you a at least an idea of how it's done